Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today I'm going to show you the Pepwave Surf on the Go and how you can set it up as a Wi Fi repeater. In order to set up the Surf on the Go, you'll need it powered on and connected to your computer with the included Ethernet cable. Open up a web browser and visit 192.168.20.1. This is the default user interface for the Surf on the Go. This is its default setting, and you can see there's three buttons to switch its internet mode. Currently it's in Wi-Fi because we're going to repeat a signal, but you can use cellular or wired depending on your use. Clicking on the settings button will let you configure the surf on the go. There's only a few things that you have to set up here for wireless repeating, but you'll notice there's a lot of options depending on how you want to administer your network. On the top you can see the radio buttons for the WAN mode. Currently it is in wireless how we set it up on the original page. The second section that you'll want to look at is failover settings. This is only for if you have a USB modem as a backup connection. We'll leave that as disabled. You can actually skip the WAN IP settings unless your network requires that as well. The first one you're going to need to look at is the Wi-Fi WAN settings. This is going to be the Wi-Fi network that you're going to be connecting your surf on the go to. It's in profile one since you can store multiple. Clicking in the white box next to wireless network name brings up a search window. This shows all the wireless networks in range of the surf. Say this was an RV park, we're going to pick their Wi-Fi network because that's the one we want to use. The authentication window will automatically match the network and you'll just type in the password for the Wi-Fi network that you're using. The next box is for auto login or portal. That is only if you have another landing page that you will have to enter a password in. Most networks don't require that and it's disabled by default. Any open AP mode will let the surf automatically connect to Wi-Fi networks without security. The rest of the settings you can leave by default. You don't have to change anything else here on the router all the way down until you get to the section that says AP settings. AP, or access point, is the name of the network that you're going to repeat back out from your surf. By default this is in configure manually with a Pepwave AP in the network name. Clicking into the white box will let you select the default username and delete it out and create your own. Remember, this is the name of your private network that you're repeating from the original. You'll give it a name and select authentication. By default it's open, but if you want to secure it, you can select and create your own password. Once that's entered, leave the rest of the settings at their default. Click the Save button on the lower right hand of the page. The page will then save your settings and refresh itself. Once this white screen goes away, your settings are saved and your surf is ready to go. Now that we're back on the settings page, in the top left hand corner, go ahead and click Dashboard. This will bring you back to the very first page you saw. Now across the top right hand side of your browser, it says Wireless 1 and Currently Connecting 2. This means the surf on the go is trying to establish that Wi-Fi WAN connection with that first SSID that you choose. After a few more seconds, you'll get a message that says Acquiring Network Address, and then you'll get a readout of Signal Strength. The four bars here mimic the four bars on the front of your surf on the go, and that's an indicator of how strong the connection is back to that first network. You'll need at least one bar in order to connect, so if you're too far away, this connection will fail. You'll get an IP address back to the original network, and now your surf is set up. Simply connect to that APSSID, and you'll be on the internet in no time. For more information on the Surf on the Go or other Wi-Fi WAN devices, visit 3gstore.com. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.